Good morning and welcome to the market overview for this week. It is April the 26th, uh, Sunday at about 10 o'clock in the morning. I want to go over what we have coming up this week in the markets. And the big one this week will be the FOMC statement and federal funds rate. We also have the monetary policy statement and Bank of Japan press conference on the yen. Um, and other than that, uh, we just have standard reports. Now, if you want to see how much the market moves on these standard reports, I suggest you go and download the market volatility report, which is available at our blog site at blog.tradershelpdesk.com. Now, um, you can see on gold we have went down and we have tested the congestion dot that is on the 720 and it has bounced up from there. So I would be looking for a potential retracement that's actually playing out on uh, the 180 minute chart. It could potentially go up to about 1193. And if you look, you'll see that we start having these congestion lines around that area. Of course, as this was pulling back, no buyers came into gold. So it may come back and test this low before it does that retracement. Now, again, we do have the federal funds rate this week. And we are seeing, and I'm just going to pull it over, you're seeing a congestion area on the 720. Now you also see that it is broken through the congestion dot, but if you look at the 1440, you have another congestion dot right below it at 1170.5. So typically this is where we could bounce back and test the ATR and that's what I am anticipating okay so while initially we may go down and test this low I do think we're in for a retracement before Wednesday okay on crude you can also see that we are right at the ATR on the 45 minute chart and we are getting divergence as it retraced back to that ATR the only thing that may actually cause this to go on up is the fact that we're also at an ATR on the 180 minute and at an ATR on the 720. So if the higher time frames, being the 180 and the 720, actually support crude, then of course price will go up. Um, if they do not offer support then we could actually see crude come right back down and test this low at uh, about 56.51 but again it would have to break the support on the 180 and the 720 before that would occur then if we go and look at the Dow Jones you can see that we've been in this congestion area for a couple of days it's not been able to break out of this congestion area again this is a sign that we have a major market report coming up we are also in a congestion area on both the 720 and the 1440 again this is identifying that there is a major market report and we can anticipate some sideways market movement until that market report comes out if i bring over the 720 you can see we have an atr right at 18108 if i bring over the 1440 you can see that we have congestion dots here at 18235 so I would anticipate Monday and Tuesday we would go up and check these levels which is uh, again 18104 18232 if it gets up that high then I would be looking to see how they are positioning themselves 
on the higher time frames okay i think that's going to be instrumental in the federal fund rate right now i do not see a lot of buyers coming into this market so we could be in for a downward movement over on the nasdaq you can see we don't have anything up above us here and as this was making new highs it was doing it on a decrease in volume again we have broken out of the congestion zones on all of the higher time frames being the 720 and the 1440 the key to this one i think for the first part of the week is the fact that we are at 71 on the adx that tells me we should see a retracement to just about 4500 um, then i would have to analyze the volume as it came back one other thing you can see that is it's making these new highs you've got nice divergence there that was confirmed on this bar that's usually a precursor to the magenta peak so we could see some downward movement to just about 4500 right now as it stands on the 180. we'll go and look at the s p 500 and pretty much the same scenario you don't have anything up above you but you can see just from this picture that we are no longer making higher highs we're just kind of moving from the high at 2114 back to the ATR now on the higher time frame S&P 500 the 1440 you can see that we do have an area that may resist price at 2121 so i think this is going to be a key area this week as to whether they can break through that area or not if they cannot break through that area we should see a retracement back to the atr now depending on how long it takes to get to this congestion dot we may see this atr rise to about 2080 and so when it gets here if it's still on diverging volume as it is right now then we can anticipate a retracement back to that atr so again we may see some initial downward movement this week on the indices and we need to read the volume from the higher time frames to see how they are positioning themselves for the fed rate announcement also on the dax you see that we have a triple area that may resist price here between 11.904 and 11.88. We also see that we are at a area that may support price to go up. I would expect it to go at least to these areas and then read the volume as it gets there. Remember if it breaks through this area it will come back and test that area to make sure that it supports a higher movement in this case it would be up to uh, 12,000 to 12,016 this is your sweet spot if it is able to break through these areas